So I started playing with this uh, uh, FuelTech FY3200S. It's a uh, function generator frequency. It also does. It also acts as a sweep generator. And I and I thought I'd start an easy function, which is actually a uh, um, a frequency counter. And what I did was there's an input on the bottom when you go into the frequency counter setting that you can use. And I plugged it into my RF signal generator. This is uh, what I use for working on old radios and stuff. It's actually uh, AM. And I generally set it, you can see the dial actually has a, a red sort of indent there, 455, which is the intermediate frequency that most of the radios are calibrated on. And here's what it looks like. What I did was it's just going from the output of the signal generator uh, directly into the, uh, the field tech. But I have um, my oscilloscope uh, just connected from negative over here, and then I got it connected uh, off to the positive, and it's coming right in on channel one. So what we're looking at is a uh, amplitude modulated waveform running at 455 kilohertz. But now, because of yeah, this box is is old, I'm quite surprised how accurate it was. Um, I'm actually able to see if I'm really getting 455. And as I plug it in here, there's a nice simple function for the FY3200S uh, using it as a uh, frequency counter to check the uh, frequency of, of whatever waveform you're trying to generate on these old dial type uh, uh, RF signal generators. That can be done simply by, um, I, I'll turn it off and turn it on and have it boot up. This is one of the easiest settings to do. All you need to do is, is hit the count button. And the book says that it requires um, a minimum of two volts. I found that it will still work at one and a half volts. What we're looking at now is one and a half volts. Um, for the waveform to come up. I had it much lower than that and it didn't register anything at all on the box. It just showed zero. So I found one and a half volts. As you dial it down, you'll find that the frequency will start changing or, or will appear to start changing. And I'm turning it down and you can see that it's dropping. It's not really reading it correctly anymore. So I turn it back up. The maximum that the um, the frequency generator does is 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 two volts and then I can bring it down and we'll watch at what point it drops right now we should be at just about 455 98 and we're still there now it's dropping so we bring it back up and that comes out to at 50 millivolts 5100 that's about one and a quarter, but the scope isn't really calibrated. But we'll say about one and a half volts is uh, just just under one and a half volts is what's required to drive uh, this frequency counter right here.